All right, what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to practice solving three different word problems. So this problem reads that Ms. Varney brought three quarters of a pound of ham and used it to make four sandwiches. She uses the same amount of ham on each sandwich. What fraction of one pound of ham is on each sandwich? All right, so we can see that we are starting with a total of three quarters of a pound. And we have to use this amount to make four sandwiches. So if you think about it, we're just taking this total and we're dividing it evenly amongst these four sandwiches. So let's take this total amount and divide it by four. And we're gonna express four as a fraction by putting a one at the bottom. Now, whenever you are dividing two fractions, you always rewrite the first fraction exactly as is. You change the division sign into multiplication and you write the reciprocal of the second number. So we're gonna take four over one and change that to one over four. And then what we can do is just multiply straight across. The product of our numerator is three and the product of our denominators is 16. So we would say that we would need 3 16th of a pound of ham for each sandwich. All right, let's go ahead and try another problem. All right, this problem reads that a restaurant needs 5 eighths of a pound of cinnamon. The price of cinnamon is $20 per pound. How much does the restaurant owner spend on cinnamon? All right, so we can see that the restaurant owner needs this much cinnamon, 5 eighths of a pound. Now that is less than a pound and because we know that it's $20 for a pound, the restaurant owner is gonna pay less than $20 because 5 eighths is less than one whole. Now, if this were four eighths of a pound, that would be exactly half. So in that situation, they would be paying $10 per pound, but it's a little bit more than half. So the store owner is gonna pay a little bit more than $10 altogether. So here is how we solve this problem. Because the problem says that the restaurant needs five eighths of a pound, the word of indicates multiplication and it is $20 per pound. So we're gonna take five eighths of that $20 and that is going to give us how much they are paying for that cinnamon. Now, before multiplying straight across, what I like to do is if we have a numerator and a denominator that share a common factor, I like to reduce those numbers by that factor. For example, four can be divided into eight and into 20. Four can be divided into eight twice and four goes into 20 five times. All right, now we can multiply straight across. So we're gonna take five times five, which is 25. And we're going to take two times one, which is two. So we're gonna take 25 and divide it into two equal parts. And that would be 12 and a half. But because we're dealing with money, we're gonna express 12 and a half as a decimal value. So we're gonna write $12 and 50 cents. And that is how much the restaurant owner would pay for the cinnamon. All right. Let us go ahead and do one more example. All right, this problem reads that Angelina earns the same amount of money each month. Her telephone bill is 1 25th of her monthly earnings and she pays a total of $840 each year for her telephone service. How much does Angelina earn each month in dollars? All right, here is one approach to this problem. So it says that her telephone bill is 1 25th of her monthly earnings, all right? So that just means that if we took 1 25th and we multiplied it by her monthly earnings, that is going to be equal to how much her phone bill is each month, okay? Now, it is not given in the problem how much her monthly earnings are, that is what we are trying to determine. How much does she earn each month? But they kind of give us how much her monthly bill is. I mean, they give us her yearly bill, but we can easily take that total and divide it equally into 12 months to figure out what her monthly bill is. So 840 divided by 12 is exactly 70 because 12 fits into 84 seven times. And then I just stuck a zero right here. So what we can do is we can now say that 1 25th times her monthly earnings is going to be equal to $70. Now, what we can do here is understand that the opposite of multiplication is division. For example, let's take this very 
simple example. So let's say we had something like 10 times blank is equal to 50. To figure out what this blank here is, we would do the inverse of multiplication, which is division. So we could take 50 divided by 10, which is 5. And this is no different. We're going to take 70 here and divide it by 1 25th. So we're going to take 70 over 1. And we're going to divide it by 1 25th. And then what we're going to do is we're going to keep, change, and flip. So what we ended up coming up with is just multiplying 70 by 25. So if I just write this zero here at the end, like this, and multiply seven by 25, which is 175, and put it in front of that zero, that would give us $1,750. Now, another way we could have done this on a more simplistic level is this. We could have started just by taking $840 and divide by 12 to figure out how much she pays per month on her phone bill, which is $70. And we know that this $70 is 1 25th of her monthly earnings. So we could then think about it like this. We could say that 2 25ths would just be doubling 70, 3 25ths would be tripling 70, and we would go all the way to 25 25ths. In other words, we're just taking 25 groups of 70. Therefore, we could have just multiplied 25 by 70, which is 1,750.